Welcome back to News 46. Southern Nevada Counseling had a table at the Prump Valley High School back to school rally this week. We caught up with Alex Delgado. Southern Nevada Counseling Center. Well, we have qualified mental health professionals offer a variety of experience and services, psychiatric care, medication management, individual therapy, equine assisted therapy, family and group therapy, case management, and behavioral modification through psychosocial services. Uh, you guys are local and in Vegas, right? Yes, we're locally here and also in Vegas. Uh, we bring these services, uh, you know, we're providers of uh, Medicare, Medicaid, fee-for-service, and HPN. Uh, and we're looking to increase uh, the, the, the insurance foundation that we're, we're hooked up with. You guys participated in the, um, the rally for the back to school here at Prompt by High School. How'd it go? It went well. We had uh, quite a few kids come through and, and we gave them some, fr some free booklets, you know, with our names on it. And uh, the thing is that we try to reach out to the youth, to all ages basically, from age 5 to 105, to be honest with you. We deal with all ages. And uh, we try to get to them to know that, you know, there's so many things that happen on a daily basis just uh, living through our society. There, life has its advantages, I mean disadvantages, and to let them know that they can come somewhere. They, they can come and seek some professional services that allows them to get through the day. Especially at the high school age, so they can, got, they can give you a call if they need any of your services um, for family, for individual counseling, for group counseling, for uh, drug and alcohol um, issues. Absolutely, and of course everything is strictly confidential. Our number is uh, 775 area code. 727-4000. And please, uh, the thing is, whether you come to us or go to somebody else, always get some help. We don't want to read about people later on after it's too late. Please seek some help if you're feeling down, if you're feeling depression, if you're feeling anything negative uh, in a way to where you might hurt yourself, please give us a call. Please. And if you have friends or family members, look out for those signs. And they can give you a call and get some advice from you. Uh, then give us a call and we'll bring them in for an assessment right away. Pokemon Go is helping kids and adults with autism and Asperger's go outside more. The game's augmented reality feature and methods of rewarding players who go to Pokestops located at popular landmarks in their communities have led people to be more interactive than normal while playing video games. It also is helping these kids and adults socialize with others. It gives people something in common to talk about and do, and they don't concentrate so much on their behavior as much. Players are finding themselves talking to people they may have not spoken to before. Though no quantifiable research has been done on the effects of Pokemon Go, Dr. James McPartland, director of Yale's Developmental Disabilities Clinic in the Child Study Center, says the game is appealing among kids with autism or Asperger's because of its consistency and structure. It is helping those with Asperger's and autism to adapt to a social hook, which he defines as something that will sort of share an experience or connection. Though there is some positives, there are also some negatives. The people with Pokemon is that kids can do it to a point where it interferes with learning about the world. If it helps kids become more isolated, it's not good. The doctors advise that with careful monitoring, these detrimental effects could be avoided. The Board of County Commissioners is moving forward with the Valley's much needed road work. The Board of County Commissioners made a decision on Tuesday's agenda. One of them is number 19, the discussion and deliberation to award a bid to the resurfacing of Fox Avenue and Game Bird Roads intersections and to execute the contract. The other, number 20, was to award a bid for the resurfacing or super pave at the Bob Rood Memorial and Bell Vista Roads. Award a bid for 2016-04 Fox Avenue, Game Bird Road. Mr. Chairman. Uh, to execute the contract. Right. Part part of these funds come from the prompt town funds for roads. Make a motion to award bid 2016-04 Fox Avenue to Gamebird Intersection. I believe it's to Wolf Wolfie's construction. Yeah. And two to execute the contract. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any public comment? Do we have a notice to proceed date? Is that part of the okay? Do you have any idea when that would be? Okay. This is this is just one more step in making the fairgrounds viable. I'm okay. happy to do this. And this is funded through the town of Pahrump's road um, gas tax. Right? Gas tax. Yep. They, that, that their income. Correct. This was their selected uh, project. 
Okay, with that, I'll call for the vote. Aye. 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 Six, Mr. Chairman. Service, the Bob Root Memorial Bell Vista Road. This has been, to execute the contract. This has been a long time coming, too. Yes, it has. <laughs> because it's been a long time in the road. It's been failing. But anyway, make a motion to award bid 2016 06. This is Wolfie's, too. Wolfenstein Construction. And to execute the contract. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any public comment? Not any public comment. Mr. Chair. The board. Yes, ma'am. Just a minor correction to the agenda item. Um, it is 5.0 miles, not 5.5. It doesn't change the award or the basis of the. And the revenue stream is coming from. I believe it's 205. No. Yeah. Oh, yes. He's not. Yes. 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 Okay. It, it is 205. From yeah. 205. Yeah, it is there you 205. Go. Ready? Okay, we got a motion and a second. Have any more comment? Call for the vote. Aye. 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 Five zero. A man by the name of Bobby Weber was arrested after he allegedly approached a real estate agent with a gun who was driving on Freedom Street. Weber reportedly thought they were going to dump trash in the area and told them to stop, then pointed a gun at them, according to police. The agent left the area and called the police. Deputy Summer Daniker located the man who was sitting next to a small cave on a hill near Freedom Street with the guns next to him. According to police, he did not follow commands to come speak to the officer with his hands above his head. He was also allegedly uncooperative, according to the police report. Police retrieved the weapons from the hilltop cave. They say Weber told them he never pointed a weapon at the reporting party. He has been charged with assault with a deadly weapon, aiming a weapon, and obstruction. News 46 will return in just a moment. <laughs> 